Okay, everybody, so today we are going to talk about doing mock-ups with the reverse canvas frames and what's required in order to do that so that you can upload your staged pictures to your computer and use a photo um, editing program or use even Inkscape if you want to and do your uh, staged pictures with overlays on them and then drop your logo on. So the problem is with a lot of people that think, oh my God, I've got all these canvas frames done. I have to actually put the designs on there to take pictures. No, you don't. What I'm going to show you is to put the frame together temporarily using two-sided tape. I got this at the dollar store, a buck twenty-five. It's a dollar twenty-five store here in Canada, as I've said before. Nothing's a buck here in Canada. Um, so what I did is just two-sided roll. You get quite a bit with it. It's just foamy, sticky-sided, double-sided, sticky. And um, I just cut off a ton of little pieces of it. And I'm going to put the frame on the canvas, okay, with my double-sided tape. I'm going to set it on there. I'll do this off camera quickly, but I'll show you the first few steps and then we can set the staging, okay? So I've got it all folded the way I want it and I'm just gonna set it on there with using little pieces of the double-sided tape. That's all I'm gonna do. Easy peasy, quick. Some of it I'll double down just so that it's nice and flat. There we go, nice and flat, look at that. Look at that, easy peasy. Now we can stage it. Now, if you wanna stage it on a wall, use your double-sided tape. Shove some of this stuff on. It's quick and easy to work with. It comes off easily as well, no residue left over. So I'm just gonna take a piece of it. I'll just put it on here. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick it on my staging wall. We're just gonna pretend this is a wall somewhere and so we can get it prepared for staging. I've maneuvered my camera for you so that um, the staging is set for, say, uh, a manly theme. Um, adding this, you can add some beer glasses, you can put this on the one side, do whatever you want. Set the stage and then you can uh, play around with the different uh, types of themes. Uh, say so you wanna do more of a kitchen theme, bring in some now, I'm an antique person, I love antiques, so all my, all my staging is usually antique because um, that's my look and that's what I usually go for. So you can do something like that for your staging. Play around with the different types of um, staging sceneries. Uh, you know, it, maybe it's for a laundry room, the sign. Put an antique on there. If, if it's an antique or a vintage sign, go ahead and, and put something like that there. If it's, uh, you know, for women, whoops, my thing fell down, live camera, this is what happens. Again, you, this, it's because it's on barn board, it's not sticking as well, but I usually stick it down much firmer. Um, again, use what you have to do your staging with. I have um, a cupboard, basically, that's just for, for staging things. I, you know, I, I do lots of different uh, pictures. And I'll, I'll do, like I said before, like 10 or 12 different pictures, all differently staged. They're all my blanks. I'll have different size frames. So use what you have around the house. Think about what you'd like to do for staging. Think about the picture that you're going to put in there or the file, the, what the file looks like. And maybe even stage it with, um, you know, one of your wine sacks, your burlap or canvas wine sacks beside it. Again, done with nothing on it. And you can do the overlay on it as well. So when you're staging items, just keep in mind to keep things away from the view of your lens as far as anything obscuring or covering any part of the canvas. You want all of that clear so that when you're doing your overlay, it sits in there properly and you're not having to work around something like that. So keep that in mind as well.
Now you're good to go. Uh, you've got your design all set. You've got it uh, on your canvas once it's been in the computer. You've got your logo in place as well. You've cropped out the picture properly and you can post it online. But you haven't wasted any reverse canvas frames. So again, just stage it according to where the piece will be hanging. Um, stage it in the, the appropriate room if you need to. Hang it on a wall. Use your two-sided tape. Get the feel of uh, what you're doing. Have some fun with it.